Is it time to cancel smiling friends? I love helping kids. I love kids, Charlie. I love kids. Uh, Pip, I, I would really not be uh, screaming that at the top of your lungs. Hello, friends, trace amounts of science. Well, <laughs> it appears that the uh, Ava Tyson interactions with the notorious Shad Man have kicked up a lot more dirt than I previously thought possible. For those who might not remember, we recently did a video talking about the Ava Tyson situation. I'll just put a link to it in the description because it's a lot to go over. To sum the situation up in only a sentence or two, Ava was a member of the Mr. Beast team. You know who that guy is. <laughs> and yeah, they had a lot of allegations being thrown at their head. Matter of fact, it, it's still basically ongoing. Uh, but one of the less mobile allegations was their affinity for an artist called Shadman. Chris and Mr. Beast were roommates at one point and had a, a Shadman original hanging up in their living room. And you might say, what's so bad about Shadman? Well, <laughs> Shadman is an infamous artist on the internet who was big into the Rule 34 scene and an artist of some popularity on early Newgrounds. One of their more egregious crimes has been that of drawing art depicting people who appear to be below the age of consent. Well, to absolutely no one's surprise, the open secret of who else has interacted with Shadman is now spilling out absolutely everywhere. And similar to a bucket of Red X brand Super Aids, it's eating through absolutely everything it touches. Coach, I've got AIDS. Giving the gift of the worst possible PR around every single corner. <laughs> And indeed, these happenings have hit as high as the Some Ordinary Podcast, which if you don't know, is a podcast featuring Mudahar, or Some Ordinary Gamers, and also Oompaville and Nuxtaku. Now, Oompa and Muda appear to be safe, but Nuxtaku, oh no, it's not looking good for Nuxtaku. But who indeed, you might ask, is Nuxtaku? Well, uh, this is him, or his online avatar, I guess. He's a VTuber, most famously known for his connections in the VTuber industry, often making clickbait-style videos featuring said popular VTubers and them reacting to odd artistic depictions of themselves or what some would call cursed manga, tie hens, if you know. It's adult anime, okay? He's also a bit in the drama sphere, the lol cow sphere, bit of a content chameleon, if you will. His general appeal being, again, his clickbait videos, which seem to habitually skirt the lines of YouTube's iron grasp on censorship. I've been compared to Nuxtaku on a few occasions, I guess the voice, the inflections, etc. I gave him a look, I said, yeah, we do sound similar. I was actually talking in the Discord voice chat about, you know, making it a meme that that's just my alt account or something. God, I'm glad we didn't do that now. <laughs> so what is it exactly that, that little Nuxy Poo is in trouble for? Well, this tweet in particular seems to be drawing quite a lot of fire. Nux states, Shadman DM me weird stuff out of the blue and I made fun of him for it many times in videos and on the podcast as seen in the clip. I've never commissioned, promoted, or been friends with him, and I've never hidden that fact. Framing this as a relationship is very disingenuous. But the internet has the, the receipts. <laughs> Nux Tucker gets quote retweeted by Q Man, and he says, Why are you lying? You asked him to collab and got rejected, LMFAO in 2021. <laughs> ah, anonymous viewer, I guess, suggests to Shadbase that you work with Nuxtago. Hey, probably this guy. Shadman says, nah, a bit too middle school. <laughs> and he says, want a collab? And Shadman says, no, but your heart's in the right place. Understandable, have a nice day, smiley. I'm here when you come around. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> The correct move here would have been to not interact. He called you a middle schooler and you're just like, yeah, that's me, totally. It's painful, dude. <laughs> a tweet of Nuxtaku getting rejected by the internet degenerate artists. Oh, just, he's out here double fisting L's into his ma. <laughs> uh, I don't know where you find that many L's. Nux, who took the piss out of Ava Tyson, is asking to collab with this deplorable Shadman character a mere three years ago. Oh, I don't feel so good. Didn't Nux decry Ava Tyson? 
It wasn't that long ago, I do seem to recall. Stones and glass houses, some might say. And this has had a ripple effect, causing Muda's podcast, the Some Ordinary Podcast, to shut down. Uh, there have been conflicting reports as to why exactly it was shut down, but this stream clip seems to be addressing the Nux Taku allegations fairly directly. Knowledge of like how far his relationship goes. All I know about Shadman is like the last six days, there's been a fucking mega leak of everyone's interactions. Like Elvis the Alien, Nux, everyone. So it's like, I don't know the extent of it, but obviously it's a disavowal if he ever obviously wanted to collaborate with him in a meaningful way or like defend him or something, you know? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, obviously, I don't want to like super hardcore hold you to account yeah. for someone else's actions. And um, and I and I and I also just want to say I don't ever would believe that Nux would have no idea about the Shadman child lolly drawing stuff. Like that would make no fucking sense. He's been in this space long enough to know better. Um, sure. So if this okay. was like a genuine interaction. Like I have no doubt as somebody that you know is in the anime culture to not fucking have any clue that Shadman was doing uh crazy shit like you'd have no if i knew that shadman was drawing fucking kids and doing crazy shit nux definitely did and that's never okay okay are you gonna keep on the podcast uh no we we would cancel the podcast it's, it's not happening the podcast Dude, is it's, done. this is hard because obviously you know people will be podcast fucking... is done yeah podcast is done now <laughs> wait what yeah the podcast is over we uh, are not filming the last episode it's over is that ser are you serious yeah, we're not doing the podcast anymore. It's done. Why? We're supposed to film on Tuesday. Well, there's a couple reasons for it. A lot of that was obviously some of the Shad stuff, too, because we were kind of sitting there. We're like, um, me and Caleb, we and we were just like, this is, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, the other thing was we just want to redo things maybe like two months down the road or something uh, between each other, and that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Damn. Like Stark who getting iced yeah. out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I can't help but draw some sort of comparison here to Keemstar and Boogie. Keemstar has latched himself onto Boogie. He's got nothing else going on. He needs this content to succeed to the point that he's willing to ruin his life and another person's life. Meanwhile, Muda has much going on outside of YouTube and is able to shut down a, a very successful podcast on a whim. Now that's what you call actual integrity. As I've said many times, I don't always agree with Muda, but in this instance, yeah, it's really the only acceptable move. However, in a clarification tweet by Muda, it's totally not about Shad and Nux Taku. It's totally about, you know, something else that is not that. <laughs> uh, I will say that Muda, he's typically one of the more trustworthy YouTubers out there, and I'm sort of maybe inclined to believe that these are his sentiments, but... Let us not forget that there is another person on that podcast, Oompaville, Caleb, as I believe he was referred to in that video clip. Uh, but hold on, didn't Oompa also do a video about the Ava situation? Uh, I swear I can remember him saying something. What, what, what was that that he said? I'm continuously trying to do my best to get true information and actual factual stuff to put in front of you guys and cover these situations and stories as reluctantly as I possibly can because I hate this shit. I don't like doing this. I don't want to talk about these people anymore. I hate these people! Well, given these thoughts, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Muda who pulled the trigger on ripping down the podcast. Maybe it was that base Chad Oompaville whose idea I'm totally going to steal. What if Red X brand spine powder was a, a sour candy that was also labeled not for human consumption so we don't have to go through the FDA? <laughs> and, uh, maybe Oompa saw this alleged collab request and said, screw it, I'm done. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes? To me, it just seems like a hell of a coincidence that Nux is called out for having interacted with Shadman, and all of a sudden the filming for the quote-unquote last episode of the podcast is cancelled and there's no more podcast planned. I'm sure these two things are completely unrelated! Just a coincidence! And I will concede, as I often do, that I don't know, maybe it is. Do I believe that with my heart in this moment? <laughs> there is such a thing as a coincidence, though. It, it happens from time to time. My suspension of disbelief, however, right now, is stretched harder than the goat's aid orifice of your choosing. <laughs> uh, 
Upa seems to have been very quiet about this situation so far, but unsurprisingly, Nuxtaku is rushed to the internet to defend his, well, quite frankly, dubious honor at this point. Nux is on vacation, though. Don't worry, he'll be clarifying this in the future on a stream. Just a question, not an accusation. Are you vacationing in the lobby of a major public relations firm? Because if I were in the same situation that you were in, I'd shift my vacation plans around a little bit. Tahiti can wait. I gotta go talk to Hillary from PR. <laughs> Uh, but when you do get back, uh, can you please explain this thumbnail where you use Shadman's art of a 16-year-old Arya Stark? Like, you know, if you don't mind, if you find the time, could you just go ahead and make that fucking make sense to me? Pretty please? No, instead, he responds with this tweet, which we read earlier, where he talks about DMing with Shadman, and yeah, I suppose in these tweets, he does demonstrate a genuinely disdainful view of the Shadman. The Shadman takes to another level. Um, so Shadman is a nasty-ish, ish fellow. Shadman didn't just draw a Shadman drew lots of real-life people. Like, Keemstar's 10-year-old daughter got drawn by this guy in, in art. And that is f***ed up. That, that is insanely fucked up. Maybe he was just getting in there trying to troll. With a character as hyperbolic and animated as Nux, it's pretty hard to say exactly what his intentions were when reaching out for a collab. Is the fact that he was totally gonna troll that guy what, what clears it for you? It doesn't necessarily clear it for me because you're still platforming a, a literal PDF file who, who identifies with the tiny mustache man. You know what I'm saying? But... You know what all this reminds me of? There is a popular, arguably more successful mainstream creator who has interacted with Shadman, and that would of course be the co-creator of Smiling Friends, Zach Heidel. And I don't know if anyone's mentioned this yet, but Zach and Shad have not only interacted, but they've been on podcasts together. And on rather positive terms, I might add. On Sleepcast 27, he would appear as a guest featuring one -E and Psychic Pebbles, or Zach Heidel. Now, the podcast appears to have taken place around 2015, but in the opening minute, they plug Shad's website. That's right, a YouTube video from 2015 is directing people to a site that would later feature images of Keemstar's daughter drawn by the infamous artist. Keemstar's daughter was 10 at the time of that drawing, just to really drive it home for you. And that wasn't even the only time that he was a guest on the show. No! Shadman is credited as a regular guest in several episodes. Remember folks, Zack Heidel is the co-creator of Smiling Friends, a major network television show. A show on the same network that fired Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty a few years back just for some allegations of domestic situations. Is it time to cancel Smiling Friends? Is it time to cancel Smiling Friends? Whew, I'll tell you this much, Zack Heidel and Wunny have both had more interaction with Shadman than Nuxtaku, and I think it's valid to say that if Nuxtaku is getting raked over the coals, that we keep the coals warm for anyone else that we see joyously interacting with Shadman. I mean, that seems fair to you, right? If the crime here is interaction with Shadman, then surely someone such as Zack Heidel, who's interacted with Shadman to a far greater degree, should also be cancelled, correct? Personally, I think so. All Nuxtaku was gonna do was troll the guy, allegedly, but here we have Zack sitting on down and, and being real good buddies, it seems. They talk about adult anime at length. I'm sure he knew the things the dude was into. Um, but before I get into that, though, this is the description for Sleepcast 2, titled The Evolution of Mankind and Molestation. Shadman joins the gang as we discuss modern methods of snatching children, spiritual molestation, robots who dream of God, the nature of marriage, the perfect wedding getaway, and Chris getting picked on by a gang of kids. Really trying to hit those YouTube keywords. I look up robots who dream of God every day. 
Uh, well, that episode of Sleepcast appeared around 2015, so keep that in mind as we continue. Shadman, Psychic Pebbles, Oney, and a few other popular animators and artists begin their careers on Newgrounds. Oh, yes. I'll never come after Newgrounds. Even to this day, it remains a paragon of independent art. The upper echelon of creators, the people who, you know, actually got stuff done, would inevitably collide and form bonds and tentative friendships. You know how it is. Or at least how it is now. Because you might remember back in 2015, being edgy was not just normal, it was like the, f the fucking meta of YouTube. <laughs> iDubs was randomly stringing slurs together and people thought that that was the funniest thing in the world. And conversations about dark topics, like the ones discussed in Sleepcast 2, were uh, not completely out there. It was a much less censored world. It was the era of shock humor. Perhaps the last era of shock humor. The dying throes of shock humor with a million Howard Stern wannabes out there trying to find themselves long after Howard himself had, had become a corporate suit and threw away everything that he said he ever believed in. Anyway, <laughs> furthermore, I don't really know the complete timeline of when Shadman truly started to drift into drawing images of those below the age of consent in compromising situations. But what's driving me insane about the situation is that people are treating anyone who's interacted with Shadman as a bad person. When in reality, Shadman is Chernobyl. And generally speaking, those who interacted with him are simply the victims of the fallout. I can't prove what people did or didn't know about him. I can't know their true intentions in interacting with him. And while I in no way condone the actions of Shadman or his quote-unquote art, I in no way approve of using a child-facing channel like Mr. Beast featuring the Shadman art, and I in no way support Nuxtaku using art of a 16-year-old Arya Stark in a thumbnail, especially in the state of undress that she's in. Honestly, I don't want Shadman allowed to draw children. Period. End of story. If we can create a drug that destroys his ability to draw anyone below the age of consent as defined by US federal law, I say we give that drug to Shadman. He deserves it. He's asking for it. And hell, maybe a whole lot worse. Maybe. It's not for me to say. What I will say is that I try to judge people on an individual basis, so while I have definitely decided that Shadman's irredeemable, does that mean we have to burn down everyone who's ever interacted with him? Truth is that that can only be judged by the merits of what they've done. Ava Tyson put Shadman art in a Mr. Beast video. Deplorable. Nuxtaco used what is arguably Shadman lowly art in a thumbnail. Psychic Pebbles might have knowingly platformed a pay dough, but in order to judge all of that, we need to ask ourselves about the context and morality of the actions of the people who are not Shadman. Something we lost somewhere between the wild west of the internet and the modern, more sanitized and boring era is the ability to make our own decisions. We love to whip ourselves up into a Twitter mob. We love to form hate brigades for this or that, or join the bandwagon for the next boycott. Back in 2015, the biggest hate brigade was Gamergate, and generally everyone agreed that that ended up being a dumpster fire. In 2024, though, our hate brigades are so divided and screaming so many different messages and complaints that it's like an ocean of noise that won't ever fucking stop. Stop! See... I used to pay a psychiatrist a lot of money to make that little bird that lives in my head stop screaming! But now, I can drown that noise out with a little bit of scrolling on Twitter. And there I could see people that may as well be parrots shouting the same thing over and over again until my eyes cross and my lower body goes numb and my bowels release directly into my pants. And that saves me a lot of money on my psychiatric bills, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Costs a hell of a lot in dry cleaning, but, you know, give and take. <laughs> when it comes to trying to get a true and honest opinion of what's happening, it's hard to even remotely argue that it's a valid source of even bad faith opinions. If you believe canceling Nuktaku for his passing relationship with Shadman is warranted, great! Say it with your chest! 
If you think Zach Heidel should lose his spot on Cartoon Network for having hosted the man on a podcast multiple times, great, go with God. But if there's one thing that you should walk away from this video with, it is this. Allow yourself to draw your own conclusions based on verifiable information and temper those opinions under how you truly believe the other person should be treated. It's obvious to one and all that Shad Man is a fucking blight. And the fact that he even has a Twitter account at all amazes me. Remember who the actual villains are here. This investigation into Shad Man all began with Ava Tyson, who was not just friendly with Shad Man, they were also allegedly speaking inappropriately with children. There was a heavy level of concentrated fire on Mr. Beast, and now, almost as though it were planned, we're getting into the minutia of side characters that had had interactions with Shad Man. Which leads me to believe only two possible conclusions. That we as a species are nothing but goldfish driving human-shaped meat mechas and are distracted all too easily, or perhaps, maybe, just maybe, someone really wants you to stop talking about Ava and focus on everyone else that's interacted with Shad Man. Conspiracy theory? Maybe. That doesn't mean it's not correct. <laughs> that concentrated fire aimed at Ava and Mr. Beast is now firing out of every corner of the internet's trenches. And while I do believe that criticizing Shad Man fans or collaborators is valid, and yes, necessary, I can't help a feeling like there's maybe a bigger target that we're being led astray from in a frenzy for the most clickable title. I mean, okay, trust me, I'm a YouTuber, I understand that impulse. <laughs> I have to fight it every day. I also know a thing or two about misdirection, and to me it sure as hell feels like someone shouting, Hey, look over there! <laughs> and personally, I'd like to see the things that they don't want me to see, not the things that they're directing me towards. I don't know. Maybe just an anti-Athorian counterculture brain. Maybe just some food for thought. But with that, we've reached the conclusion of this video, friends. I'd really like to know your thoughts in the comments. We can't do science without critical thinkers, okay? Whatever you think about the, the minutia of the situation is, is probably correct, as long as you're not full bore like, I'm, I'm Team Shad, man! <laughs> then I could probably understand where you're coming from and get along with you. So indeed, let me know. Uh, if you'd like to connect on a more personal level, there's also my Patreon and YouTube channel memberships, the Discord, hey, even my fourth wall if you want some merch. It's whatever you want to do. If you can't afford it, that's no sweat, man. I appreciate you watching this video. A little bit more experimental content, if you will. But I'm really enjoying making it, and I, I thank you guys so much for coming along for the ride. As always, before I leave, I would like to remind you, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye bye. <laughs>